This is Nick Peters with Comcore's video blog, What Were They Thinking? Klaus Kleinfeld's forced departure as chairman and CEO of global engineering firm Arconic last week is a cautionary tale. It has a similar ring to an aspect of the United Airlines crisis. CEOs should think and get counsel before making a communications faux pas. For Kleinfeld and Arconic, he was facing a revolt by an activist shareholder seeking his ouster and more seats on Arconic's board. Kleinfeld's response to the activist hedge fund Elliott Management and their billionaire investor Paul Singer was quite unusual, to put it mildly. He sent Singer a letter hinting at alleged bizarre personal behavior by Singer while partying during World Cup soccer games in Berlin in 2006. Yes, 2006. The letter was delivered to Singer by messenger along with a soccer ball. What was Kleinfeld thinking? Singer and Elliot took the letter as extortion, forwarded it to the Arconic board and made it public last week. The media had a field day and within a week Kleinfeld was forced to step down from Arconic and give up his seat on the board of Morgan Stanley. Managing bitter shareholder battles effectively requires a mix of personal resolve and careful strategy. CEOs in particular live in glass houses. Their every action, whether in speeches, emails, tweets, and yes, an old-fashioned letter, reflects on the company's image and stock valuation. It should be noted, by the way, that our conic stock rose after Kleinfeld's departure. The lesson for C-suites, don't make a habit of shooting from the hip. Take a chill pill before you fire a bullet in anger that just may end up taking you down. For Comcore, I'm Nick Peters. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.